Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're gonna be discussing the difference between a $1 tarp and a $350 tarp, and everything in between, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Yep, you heard right, a $1 tarp versus a $350 tarp, and yes, all the price points in between. There's gonna be a lot of tarps we're gonna be talking about, but with that said, in the world of tarps, there's a lot of materials, sizes, and types to choose from. And it really depends on if you're gonna be an individual camper, you're wanting to go ultralight, you've got a family or a group to consider, or you have yourself and a bunch of bigger gear like canoes and boats to think about at the same time. So jumping right in, this is the $1 tarp. Yes, I know, it is not necessarily a tarp. These are contractor bags. 55 gallon, this is an improvised material, but that's also the same can be said for the $350 tarp. Actually, most of the tarps here were improvised materials used for other things before they became camping or emergency shelters of any kind. They, you can get these in two to four mils. Yes, the rolls actually come in to be more expensive than a dollar, but when you break it all down, it's about 50 cents to a dollar per bag for the really big two to four mil thick contractor bags. They are great for ponchos, rain flies, and the good thing about them is they're 100% waterproof. Next, as we move up in price, this is the $3 tarp. And yes, this is the Boss Shelter Kit, and no, there's not $3. It's actually a $50 kit, but the actual value of the tarp that's inside of it is about $3 in total. And we actually took this on a 12-day survival challenge trip and it did phenomenal. We actually did a video, which is gonna be linked up in the right-hand corner of the screen that you can go check out, where we checked on it six months later, and it, considering the fact that such a cheap tarp, did very, very well. Now, with that said, it is not going to be a ripstop nylon, so if it gets a tear, it's gonna rip all the way through. The water resistance will not be as good as some of the higher end stuff. It's definitely not ultralight and there's gonna be minimal tie-out points. They're not gonna be reinforced. So keep that in mind, when you're going ultra crazy budget, you will be sacrificing a lot of those much desired things and features in the more expensive tarps that a lot of people are looking for when they're camping. We've got the six to $15 price point. These are like the everyday tarps that you find at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, everywhere. These are the ones that you're gonna actually find most often for like vans and trucks and just covering things like big pieces of furniture or gear in the back of a truck if someone doesn't actually have a truck hood. That's what these are for. Now keep in mind with the tarps that we have on the table and the price points we're gonna be touching, these are just stand-ins and representative. We don't have every single tarp humanly imaginable. There'd be thousands of different brands and styles and sizes. So keep that in mind when you're checking out this video. We're kind of just going over different price levels. So with this particular tarp, you're actually gonna see a little bit of an improvement. You're gonna get a better waterproof rating. You're actually gonna start seeing minimal reinforcement on the corners at least for things like that. And you can get a variety of sizes. You can get six by sixes all the way up to 24 by 24. Heavy duty and there's light, medium, and heavyweight tarps. You can get them in a variety of price points. Next price point up, we are moving into the 15 to $25 range. And something you'll notice is we're gonna be jumping up basically 10 bucks for the most part in this video. This is kind of the first price point you'll see where you'll start getting things like a carry bag, ripstop nylon, reinforced holes, all those good things start showing up in some of these uh, Chinese and overseas made brands. This one is from Brook Trout Outfitters. The reason why this one's on the table is because we got that nice high visibility orange, we got some ripstop nylon. It is a smaller tarp, it's only a five by seven. However, what gives it a kind of a win in my book for its price point is the fact that it's got a massive SOS written on the front so you can use it as an emergency tarp but if you're not trying to blast signals to the heavens and try to get rescue you can just flip that thing over and have a high visibility tent that you can find in the woods because I've been into some seriously huge national forests that are tens upon tens of thousands of acres and without something high visibility even if you know where you're going it may be hard to find your stuff because it's basically a massive sea of green out there having some dual functionality ripstop nylon we're starting to get in some slightly better features for the price point to 15 20 bucks this is awesome to complement with something like a budget hammock the next price point up we're moving into that 35 to 45 dollar price point now there's a lot of competition in this space because a lot of people go there and you can find a lot of really cool options and sizes and brands out there the one that's gonna be representative in this list is the Go Outfitters Apex Camping Shelter. This was actually one of my first 
nicer tarps that I've ever been able to use. It has a ton of tie outs. We're looking at 20 tie outs. This actually used to be like an $80 tarp shelter, but it's been on the market for a few years and some of the materials have changed, but it's got 20 total tie outs. You're looking at a size dimension. This particular one only comes in one size, but it's 11 feet long on the ridge line and it's nine and a half feet across, which is a lot of coverage for something like a hammock, but can be great for a single person trying to hunker down in some type of all season environment for a tarp shelter. The next price point we're looking at is that $50 to $75 price point. This is where most people who take tarp shelters, bushcraft camping, trail camping, all that stuff, this is where most of them settle because of the fact that it's it's under a hundred bucks, you're getting a lot of awesome pro features. And one of my favorites is Chill Gorilla. This is the 12 by 12 version. They do offer a 10 by 10 version. This material is 210 D ripstop nylon. This is some pretty serious stuff. But what I love about Chill Gorilla in particular is it comes with all the tie outs. This comes with all the things, every conceivable configuration you could think of from diagonal, square, traditional, some crazy looking contraption you wanna think of, this can do it. It has all the tie outs, it's absolutely amazing. But for this, the 12 by 12 only being 60 bucks, it's ridiculous. You can get away with some awesome family size camping in there. It is incredibly warm because you'll be able to block off wind of all sides and just leave yourself exposed to something like your campfire and you're gonna be rocking and ready to go in those kind of fall and spring months where the sun isn't too warm, but you actually, when it gets colder at night, you want a little bit of protection. So you rock this and your sleeping bag and you'll be pretty good to go. All right, next on the list, we are gonna be jumping above that $75 price point. This is kind of that $75 to $90 price range. The representative here for this particular tarp is going to be the Mongrel EDT by Arcadia Gear. Uh, for anybody who watched my camp stoping video, they had their titanium camping grill, which is one of my favorites. Now, with this particular shelter, this is something that you would be considering for like winter camping when the weather drops significantly, because being able to regulate your body temperature is going to be a ferocious must. Now, you're not going to be able to jump into ultralight territory, but with this tarp only weighing two, two and a quarter pounds, you're right as a rain. It is offering a Lumatech on the reflective side, which is a very durable reflective material that's great for illuminating heat off of things like stoves, candles, and campfires, and helping even if you don't have a fire going and you just hunker down in a very closed configuration, it will reflect your body heat off of you very, very well. This is the first price point jump where we start seeing things like 20,000 millimeter water resistance, which basically means that it is the most waterproof tarp rating you can get. It basically will handle hurricane force rains it's awesome. The next price point, we're going to be jumping just above $100. Now, in this space is where you got to start seeing ultralight technology. This one is the Superfly from Warbonnet Outdoors. You guys might recognize this pattern. This was in my 30-day survival challenge. This was also in another five-day and another seven-day video that we did. This thing has been on the most adventures because it's very lightweight. It literally weighs a pound. It is super, super light. But what I love about Sil Nylon and the ultralight tarps in this category is for the money you're getting that 30D Sil Poly Tarp Nylon. This is 11 by 10 foot. So there's a ton of configurations you can do. This comes with doors. So if you want to actually jump this thing down and you want to set your ridge line at about five feet high to hunker down underneath as a tent or just have a really big, huge canopy for a hammock, you've got it. Now we're rounding towards the end of the price point high, climbing that crazy price mountain that a lot of you guys are probably sick to your stomach going, hell no, there's no way I'm paying this much. But I promise you for the particular needs of these particular tarps, they do serve a very valuable purpose. So this next representative is the AquaQuest. Now, when I bought this last year, this was a $250 tarp. Thankfully, which I think is a much more reasonable price point, is 170 bucks on Amazon for their 20 by 13 tarp. Yes, you heard right, 20 foot by 13 foot. That is a monster. And you're probably thinking, why the heck do you ever need a tarp that big? Well, in most cases for a single individual, you never will. There's no point actually. But at 20 by 13, 15 by 15, those massive huge sizes that AquaQuest is famous for are for if you are gonna be canoe camping. You're what, let's say you're doing a uh, through hike or you're doing a fishing trip and you need a place to base camp on the side of the river, but you wanna keep your canoe safe and not just fill up with water in the middle of the night unsavory weather, that will be able to hold you, two or three people, and your canoes underneath the same canopy safely without any issues. That's what these types of tarps are for. Last but not least, the king on top of the mountain is Dyneema Fiber or Kuban Fiber. You actually might have actually most recently seen this on Corporal's Corner's video where he had 
one tarp shelter to rule them all. And yes, it is the Ferrari of tarp shelters. It's incredibly expensive material. It is the king of ultralight. One thing I want you to note though, is though I do not bash Cuban fiber, the amount of money you have to pay, which is like 350 bucks all the way up to four, five, six hundred dollars is just a little too high for anything that I can realistically see to pay for any type of tarp shelter. With that said, the particular tarp shelter that he was using weighed 6.8 ounces. It is a freak of nature in the light category. It was actually designed originally for yachts and sailboat racing. It was designed to replace sails. And with that though, it doesn't stretch. You're not gonna get a lot of good stretch on it, but because of the fact that it was built for those high wind, high strength scenarios, it will be excellent in the tear resistance category. It will be phenomenal. But with that, there are a few drawbacks, which is the reason why I don't own one. It's puncture resistance and it's abrasion resistance are pretty, pretty bad. They're not really good at all but you're gonna run into similar functions if you jump into the ultralight category for things like sil nylon anyway. But now keep in mind, I did get to use a Dyneema tarp once for a three day trip. It was fantastic. It was, it was more of a novelty for me to play with something so light and just ridiculous. It was pretty incredible, but it was super loud. It was like someone rubbing a Walmart bag in your ear all night through a windy night. It was just, I think it was the second night I was out, it was the worst, it was horrible. I just couldn't take it. And I was like, you know what? I under, I love the benefits of it. It is really strong, really lightweight, but I just can't deal with the noise. I just, I need to be able to go to sleep. Now, I hope you enjoyed my $1 tarp versus $350 tarp shelter video. Now, keep in mind, there's, you probably noticed this guy right here in the center. I didn't touch on that because I'm teasing you guys for another future episode for a 30 second emergency shelter, which you guys are gonna be seeing in a few days. If you wanna see more videos like this from my camp stove video and this tarp video, definitely make sure we get 3,000 likes on this episode and that lets us know through your direct voting that these are the types of episodes you wanna see. But with that said, hope you guys enjoy this episode. See you in the next one.